Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where we just had our airship adventure. I need this up still. Uh, <laughs> and now we are gonna go to X marks the spot across the city. Ooh, let's let's go fast. Oh, there you are. Oh, the manse. That's right. That's what they call mansion. We have humes for human and manse for mansion. Actually, I don't know. Manse might be a real word. Sorry, I didn't mean to click so loud on the keyboard, but manse, manse might be a word that we use in this world, too. Okay, good behavior from all of us. I don't know any of us who would misbehave. They're sky pirates. Both are Ships here. in the water. Send fishing dories if need be. I care not. Gloss air engines are as good to us as sky to a fish. Leave what boats have founded. I want souls saved, not driftwood. Our armada ran afoul of bad water near the Ridderana Cataract. All engines stopped a sudden, becalmed, trouble with a mist thick as death, it seems. Those seas are yarked. I expected airship trouble, not a fleet foundering midst the waves. Tell me of what happened in Giruvagon. From the lay of your eyes, I measure all did not go well. I love the way they speak. Sid, was he false as I feared? Yes. But we may have caught a glimpse of his true intent. We may now know what it is that Sid searches well, for. Well, yeah, we do. The mother of all Nethesite friggin' shell eggs. So the day affected Nethesite was only a fragment? And these, or Curia, I know not and care to know even less. If we strike this Suncrist with the Sword of Kings, no new stone may be born. We say oh, the Sun Crest is the source of all Nethesite's power. That's right. If we might break it, the Dusk Shard would be as a thing lifeless. As for the manufactured Nethesite, who can say? There is another way. We use the Treaty Blade to cut a new stone from the Crest. Use that to fight the Dusk Shard and the manufactured stones. Would you like to know the best use of Nethesite? Will or nil, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh. Pick it up and throw it oh, away. Okay, thanks. Either way, we have to find the Sun Chris first, right? Don't we? Across the sea, and a tower on a distant shore. Redis? Familiar words, Vaughn. I saw something of the sort written in some documents I chanced upon during my visit to Draclaw. The Naldoan Sea, the Ridder on a Cataract, and the Pharos Lighthouse. I sent my fleet to fish out the truth behind these words, and caught trouble. Then proof is ours. This lighthouse on the Naldoan Sea is the tower on the distant shore. The strong mist that becalmed your ships is a grimmer yet clearer sign than any we might hope for. The Suncrist is there. All well and good, but how do we get there? Those seas are in Yacht, as I recall. In calm? Like Try putting this one in your ship. It is a sky stone made to resist Yacht. More spoils from the Draglor labs, is it? Why not use it yourself? That's just the thing. My ship's a Bajurban model. It will not work. But should it fit the Strahl, she'll fly in Yacht. Lady Ash, I would accompany your highness, if you do not object. <gasps> I am in your care. Oh. But tell me one thing. New friend? Why do so much for us? The Nabudis Deadlands. Nabudis was your home? Nay, but a memory forever burned in my heart. The voice acting is like top notch. Like, I think it's a little over the top in some cases, but I love it. Like, you can almost hear his voice being like, ah, oh, but a memory in my heart, you know? Like, I can hear it like vibrate a little bit with emotion, and I was like, oh my. Yay! What are you guys just doing here? The great Pharaohs in the bottom of the, yeah, we were off and warned, yeah, but he is no man of Balfenheim. There were many against this expedition, but he, he knew no fear. You make for the great Pharaohs, that place is in Yag, you know, you want a lot of people to fly there. I feel like that must mean, like, become airships don't need wind, but it must be like a, some sort of becalmed? I don't know. 
There you are. No, no. <laughs> the repairs on the straw are complete. You can leave whenever you want from the aerodome. Thank you, you little machinist. You have a sky swing like a flying yog? I'll put it right in the straw then. I don't have it. Balfa here has it. It's his ship. I think it's his ship. A spot of good fortune. That new Skystone should ease your journey considerably. It is quite fortunate that we don't have to go on some epic journey just to get a stone to travel the way we need to be. Stands on an island at the Ritterana Cataract in the Yagdanador, southeast of here. Take care. Thanks. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at how they... I hadn't really looked when I was, uh running through town but how the other people are also going one time speed that's so funny okay so it's way out there over the sands where is even the aerodome here ah it's that circle-y symbol all right off i go back across the town Private airships. Good day. We handle all private airship arrivals and departures from this desk. How may I help you? Ah, uh, let's see. Your ship was the straw, was it? Ah, uh, yes. No one has been tending to your ship. He left a message for you. From the aerodome to the desert waste, I'll be there to keep the straw in tip top shape. Oh my gosh, we have another friend. No one seemed quite pleased to have finished those repairs. The straw is ready to depart whenever you wish. Yeah, I want to go now. Oh my gosh, let's just, yeah, oh, look at this, oh, look at that, we can pick wherever we want to go, except kind of not really, there's like half of them. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. You may enter the hangar from the gate. I was like, are you going to make me walk over there? Ooh. Oh, it looks very nice. Star Wars. It's a trap! <laughs> oh yeah. The developers are like, please look at this thing we made. <laughs> it's beautiful. Very cinematic, like the angles. I know it's still like a little like fuzzy looking, but like despite that, they did such an excellent job on the remake. A tower on distant shore. I mean, I feel like they and about could, its peak, a piercing mist. I feel like that could be a lot of things, honestly. Lots of shores have towers. And in that mist, the sun crest waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun crest. I like this man. And should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. I mean, no one's gonna, I think, gonna interfere. Vaughn, a word. Oh, maybe never mind. <laughs> if something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. A what? Untoward? What's this You're not about? gonna give it to Fran? I am the leading man. I need to do something heroic. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fly her. Vaughn's like, yay, if you die, I get the ship. I'll still give it to Fran. What the heck? <laughs> I guess, I guess, uh, the way I'm gonna, like, headcanon this is that he assumes if he dies, like, him and Fran will go together, you know? Because, like, I don't know if they're lovers or friends or occasional lovers or what, but they're definitely tied at the, uh, what is it, like, um, attached at the hip, you know? Where one goes, the other follows. And the thing is, is I'm like, oh yeah, there's mist at the top. Isn't that 
Is there not just clouds up there? <laughs> I don't know. I cannot see it. The mist, as far as I know, is just um, footfalls of the past. Ooh. Um, is just a glowy golden aura that reflects sometimes like water in the air. I didn't buy any remedies. That was dumb. Oh, I oh wait. Oh, I'm gonna. I actually looked at the spells and stuff too, but oh, I'm gonna need remedies. There's those stupid, stupid things over there. Man, I don't want to go all the way back. I'll be right back. Okay, I have successfully returned. Oh, I do have serum. This was another cure for a disease that I saw on, on the wiki. I don't know where I picked that up, but... I don't know how to get rid of the disables. <laughs> oh, just have to wait till she's out of it. Oh, excuse me. We got down to like one health, and then like all the damage we did to it reflected back onto us. This bodes ill. Um. Uh, <laughs> what? We were blowing past everything else and we get to this forest horse and now, excuse me. Excuse it didn't help that I was going super fast. I was like, what just happened? I don't have, I have no idea, really. I mean, I know that it seemed like it was casting an MP thing, and I hit put reflect on all of us. Um, which I thought would actually make it so that we couldn't... Heal? I... I... Um, well, maybe it's just me and Red Canelo and Redis right now. So I went to go look up uh, how to get Reflect off, but some somebody was texting me for work, texting me for work, and I so I got distracted by that. By the time I looked through the screen, it was gone. So uh, yay for me not having to do that to figure that out, because it might just be like, yep, you gotta. You just gotta do your best. <laughs> Sit there and wait. Oh, I almost missed this save crystal behind all those explosive things. Why? That's just so mean. Path of hidden blessing. You. A sweep. Is that a spell? I don't. Know. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Oh, we're now we're gonna enter the tower proper. How long is it gonna take to get up there? Wait, was that the top of the building semi-transparent? Is that why they call it mist? Is because the top is actually like I can't see. Just like I'm trying to look at friends, but um, I was like, this looks like a cutscene. I paused because I was like, this looks like. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's maggots! I need. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, that's. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh. Oh. I'm actually. I am legitimately feeling nauseous. Oh my gosh! I don't want to. I'm not looking. This is gross. All the other things we've seen are like pretty interesting looking, but this is like a rotting dragon. And I was deceived because I was like, and I stopped with the cutscene, and then I was just about to say, "Oh, surely there's not going to be a cutscene because there's little things to open over there." <laughs> Hydro. Uh, I just took Bosch off to give Fran a chance to level up. Uh, but oh boy. 
They who thirst not. I died, by the way. Surprise, surprise. I got my buns handed to me. Okay, just went through and gave everybody their license board points, including Vaughn. They, they actually, they honestly add up faster than I think. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, I'm so behind. <laughs> Balthier has the most health out of everybody? How did that happen? It just gave Vaughn a bunch of health. He's still the lowest. He's the lowest even besides Penelo. To be fair, Penelo is level 51. She outclasses him by a long shot. Now kiss. No, I'm just trying to move. Oh my gosh, I'm going to save. No, I'm not. Oh, I don't want to do all that again. It's okay. The autosave function of the loading screens will save me. Alright, yucky dragon time. Don't want to look at it. Ugh. Oh, it uses fear to make people lose a massive amount of MP, okay. Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure we had the HP, the sap on us. Okay, that one, yeah, that was, that was a, that was a gnarly one. All these other ones have been, like, really, like, beautiful or, like, strange designs. And that one was just, like, they're, like, we're gonna bring a Dark Souls boss in. And, uh, you're gonna fight it. <laughs> Only took two tries, though. Woohoo! Congratulations! <laughs> She's doing the thumbs up again. I like Red Us. I think the whole idea of like pirate, it's sort of like a roguish knight that like falls for the queen of, you know, or the princess or whatever. Like, I don't know. That kind of a. Oh, she does have. I forgot I put Asuna on her gambits. I don't know, it's like it's the it's like the rogue with the heart of gold, right? Like he might, you know he might do some unsavory things sometimes and from the point of view of like capitalism, but <laughs> But he's got a he's got a good heart and wants to help. Like and he recognizes that this is bigger than anybody than any of us, you know? <sighs> But no one's gonna stand in Ash's way if she makes a choice. Except, I think Balthair is going to. That was kind of what he indicated to Vaughn. Hey Something's written on the wall. That he might have to make a sacrifice Engraved of some sort. Engraved by someone, it seems. Hmm. It's quite old. Lo, seeker in days unborn, God blade bearer. Know you, this tower challenges the sky. Where the watcher, the ward of the three weights. Soul hungry, unsated. He without power, want it not. He with power, trust it not. He with sight, heed it not. Rend illusion, cut the true path. In blood, wraith wall. The Dynast King? <laughs> Does it startle you? The Dynast King took his sword from the Ocuria. It was here he claimed the Nethysite. Yeah, it, may, it makes sense he was here. He must have known he was not the last the Ocuria would choose. He left this for you. It's like, it sounds like it's written for her. Like, Rend illusion. Cut the true path. Words of much mystery. Yet his blood runs in your veins. 
Perhaps it whispers to you the truth. I like Fran a lot. I think she's cool. Very wise. Very sage-like in some ways. But not afraid to, like, you know, be an outlaw. <laughs> she's an outlaw sage. But yeah, in days of, like, this is for you in days unborn, like, if that's not a way to say you in the future, then I'm a little bunny rabbit. I think, I was like, that's not because of Fran, but I think it was because my brain saw Fran and was like a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> And I know it's funny, every time I see another of her people, I'm and I'm like, why isn't why are they wearing black like she is? Like, that's such a dumb thing to say, but it's like, I'm just used to seeing the bunny ears in the black, you know? But they're here, they all look, they, I'm honestly surprised at, like, the differences among, on all the models, like, all the character models, like, even the NPCs. Like every, why can't I think of her species name? Every, Viera, Viera, um, has looked quite distinct, honestly. The humans, I see more of them repeating, um, honestly. And I guess probably the Bagra and the Sigra? Sigra? Oh, wait, wait, I see, hang on, whoop, I am, I see on my map. Yes, it's so unfair that the draw distance didn't show it. We can teleport from here. Alright. We are now the first ascent. So there's like three floors. I'm gonna, th I'm, if I'm remembering right, yeah, so we've got different floors here. See, so it's just, it's like, not just like, but it is very like Ocarina of Time, at least right now, it reminds me, or just any Zelda game, really. Twilight Princess does it too. This actually looks a lot like Twilight Princess in some ways. In a lot of ways. It looks like the water temple in Twilight Princess. I loved Twilight Princess, by the way. I thought it was an excellent game. I very much enjoy it. The only thing that frustrates me about that game is the Ganon fight at the very, very end. Very frustrating with the Wii controls. But about once a year, I will, um, when I go visit my parents at Christmas, I will sit down with one of my sisters or both of them and I will play, like, I don't know, like 30, 40 hours of Twilight Princess. The beast here dwelling off possesses black orbs. Herewith approach by thine offering sealed way to open. So they have a dark power. I don't really know what to do with that. I just usually tank it. <laughs> so, but thank you. Thank you for the warning. I had to take a quick break from gaming because I had to turn the AC off in this hotel room when I'm recording, otherwise it's really loud in the background, and it got so hot in here, I was like, I need like five minutes <laughs> with the AC on. Uh, what does this... Where does this take me? Strong magics bind the device. I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, hey, look, a door. Let's go off to the left. Ancient letters hanging out. What? The night a child, unchosen with life so short, this tower freely may you tread. In your passing, learn of truth. In your passing, speak of truth. These words writ by hands undying. I have to read in an effulgent glow. I see, I see. Also, I think I just picked up something called a black orb. I do not, I do not know, but I picked up. Oh, no, not one of these. Ah, ha, ha. The floating orb is of a dark eldritch glow. Touch it. I obtained a black orb. Okay. All right. When I kill some of these creatures, they get. But you have to do it super fast. You have to like click on it really fast. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know if I need three or more. I feel like three is a good number. The weird poems mentioned three. Another tower. From beasts of tower's base rest the orbs you seek, ripe with hidden magics. Orb of tower's magic born, here and here alone be found. So only on this floor can I use these orbs. The black orbs. Let's try the door. Oh, okay. I looked it up because obviously I'm just extremely impatient. But just having the orbs isn't enough. I was supposed to put them in these altars. But I didn't see how many orbs. 
One in each of the three altars. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, you don't have to be fast on the pickup for the orbs either. <laughs> Apparently they hang there for a second. Oh yeah. Orbs. The first seal. Cool, I didn't know that was there. Final orb. If this is gonna be as complicated as the water temples, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, I was like, I, if, I assume it's gonna be that door. Ancient letters hang in the Stygian glow. Let's read it. Ahead, the watcher waits, burst of three, yet without ye without wisdom, return whence you came. Well, uh, you know. Never said I was wise, but. <laughs> you just gotta throw yourself at the situation and hope you have enough healing power. That's how you get through these situations. Wow, we really teleported. Where are we? I was like, where do you want me to go? <laughs> this looks like the starting area outside of Astre. <gasps> oh, it's like the freaking things in Zelda Breath of the Wild. The rocks. So this is a tortoise. This is insane. I was just trying to stay out of its way. Uh, are we good? No? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I feel kind of bad. We just kind of walked up on it while it was chilling. It's minding its own business in some sort of dimension. Oh no, did Balthier die? He didn't get the credit. It's okay, Ash needed to level up. He did all that work too. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? We did it. <laughs> okay. Out, uh, out this way then? Oh, this was like the room. Oh, okay, I see. And there was just like an illusion magic and we're supposed to be breaking illusion magic. I remember. I'm, I'm picking up what the game's putting down in a tiny incremental way. Now how to get to... Oh. This actually might work. This is shift where like I'm pretty sure like you walk at a pretty slow pace. Like if we were, if we were not at this pace, we'd be going a lot slow. Like I mean, if we weren't on four times speed, we'd be going really slow, like just meandering. This is actually easier to navigate these like little corridors with because I was having a really hard time going like super fast. I don't know. This just feels a little faster than than just walking. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not actually that much of a difference. Oh dang, Red Ass doesn't get included, poor guy. I'm sure they just don't have the animation for him. Maybe he's dead and I wasn't paying attention. He might have died. Nope, there he is. However, I do actually. Yeah. I, I do want to go back and save. I feel like I just saw like a shape of a dragon kind of in there. That might just be me hallucinating in the heat that I've imposed upon myself. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There is a dragon. I'm just... Uh, look at that. Just, there was a dragon. It was moving <laughs> ridiculously, but there's a dragon there.
Those guys turn into bridges. Those things that look like the floating heads from Spirited Away. What a dragon! Oh, okay, never mind. That wasn't that big a deal. I thought it was like a boss fight. <laughs> There's a dragon floating in the water. Like, I mean, well, flying in the water. You know. Flying near the water. These guys, they turn into bridges. <gasps> Alas, there's another one somewhere. A dragon helm. Some of this stuff I do wish I could see. Our paths must you rely on by path of living flame have you come. Frozen in stone, the green flame pa passes from time, stone now and evermore. Okay, yeah, so the little green floating head things. Not floating heads, I guess decapitated heads. They are the solution to this. I realize I probably... I, l I know I look so ridiculous. But I swear this is faster. Let me go across. Oh wait, there's more. There's another one. There's another one somewhere. Not up here. Ah! There it is, hidden in the corner. And then they turn to stone. Something, something, something. Riddle, riddle, riddle. That they said just now. Seventeenth floor. What did we go from like floor one to floor seventeen? Or no, we just keep keep going up. I don't know. We must have jumped from floor one to like floor fifteen, and now we're moving moving up. Yeah, now we're on eight. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's moving up as we move flights. That's good. I don't know how many floors this thing's supposed to have, but aha! Seduced by false illusion, it is the fool who cuts not his own path, celestial glory ne'er to behold. So okay, we have more illusion magics. Fool's facade. I was like, okay, okay, strike the wall. I thought it looked a little weird. I solved that one on my own. Haha, -ha, I gotta make sure. That's probably where we have to go, but I wanna find the last. Oh, is there another one? Oh. I am I was kind of assuming that there's a green guy somewhere. Oh wow, there's actually like three more hidden somewhere. Oh sweet! <laughs> hidden right in front of the door. Awesome! I hope this is all we need to do for this floor. Or at least to get to the boss on this floor. Look, there's another one! Come here, you! Little, little tiny weenie dragon. Watch, those are like the baby dragons and the mama dragons around and she's gonna rip me to shreds. This is a cool area. Very cool. Uh, I keep wishing for photo mode. I've been playing too many games lately to have photo mode. Wingless child consigned to walk the world below, many are the works whose nature is a duality possessed. When stone face lit by red flame falls, then red flame turns to stone. The path is clear, but stone born of green flame to darkness fade. Okay, so some of them have a better outcome than the others. Well, that's a red flame one. Over there. I don't know what the red flame did. Or maybe it, like it's like a timed thing. That would be a big bummer. Holy cow, there are so many openings. Oh, 
oh, the red one, when we defeat the red one, it takes away. That's so awesome. So you have to try to not kill the red ones. Cool. Okay, so I'm pressing the fleeing button anytime I'm near the red one. But hopefully this one is the last one that we need, this green one. Perfect! So you probably could have, I think they said it, it becomes permanent once you step on it, so we probably could have turned around and fought it, but... No big deal, I'm not too worried about it. Just working my way through the Zelda Water Temple. If there's more than 50 floors, I'm gonna make lose it. <laughs> Ignorant child, born of chaos, know it was you, our king, pitying a world bereft of order, bereft with strife, who stamped true seal on mortal wax. Okay, these are all so vague. It's like, why couldn't you just, just write what you wanted? Just write. Just write it straight up, what you're trying to say. To be fair, sometimes it's like, oh, if we were back in the day, maybe we'd get the references, you know? Oh, baby. Oh, no. I was really hoping for a second boss floor, but... Oh, there's a save crystal, though. Here. Happy almost not 100 save files. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching I appreciate it really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons to all of my patrons including the acorn patrons thank you so much Adam for your support I very much appreciate it my friend and also thank you to Fane my other acorn tier patron thank you so much for your support I very much appreciate it and I want to give an extra special shout out to Rescalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. It's been a long time and I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who's gone above and beyond in his support of the channel and of me and who I cannot say thank you to enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.